Yes, sick leave. Okay. Well, this is the other thing, that, another piece of good news. Now, a lot of people might be surprised to know that Ireland is one of the very few countries in the European Union where people don't have a statutory entitlement to sick leave. And that really became a problem during the pandemic because we saw an awful lot of people, particularly people working in the meat processing plants, who might have felt they had symptoms of COVID but couldn't take a sick day because they wouldn't get paid. Mm, so yeah. that prompted the government to take action. And today, Leo Varadkar announced new legislation is being passed through the Dáil, which will entitle everybody to three days sick leave a year in the first instance. Now, you'll get up, you'll get 70% of your, of your wages, up to a maximum of 110 euros per day if you go call in sick for three days over the course of the year. So it's not like it's wildly generous. And then that three days in 2024 will become four, five days. And then over a period of six or seven years, it becomes 10 days. So over a period of six or seven years, people will be entitled to 10 days statutory sick leave. And then after the 10 days, if you're still sick, well, then your PS or PRSI entitlements kick in and the government will start picking up the tab. So I think this is one of those really welcome measures. And I, it's not like it's encouraging people to pull a sickie because you're still down. You know, you're only going to get, be getting 70 percent of your wages and it's only for three days a year. But it will stop people going into work when they feel rotten. And I think if COVID-19 has taught us nothing else, it's taught us that you shouldn't be doing that. So hopefully the days of us all dragging ourselves into work or into the television studio when we're wheezing like a TV ward from the 1950s. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want to do that. You don't want yeah. to be doing that. You want to stay at home if you're unwell because otherwise you'll, you'll, you'll well, spread bugs. It's to increase from three to 10. Now it's mandatory. What I'm thinking of, like in some work situations where you would have people who are staff, but you also might have people who are freelance and they're under contract. Yeah, no, it's going to be... It's going to be for everybody. Yes, absolutely. And, and you, can't, you see, you can't disadvantage somebody because they're on contract. You know, or you, or you can't say to somebody who's, who's working day to day or who's part of the gig economy, well, sorry, you're not going to get any sick pay, so you're going to have to come into work sick. So the idea is that, A, it creates a, a, a sense of... An, a, 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 a playing field and even... Reg, uh, What's the, what's the phrase? Flat playing. An even playing level field. Playing level field. playing field. Level playing field. Thanks, Karen. That's the one. What is that <laughs> phrase? It creates a level <laughs> playing field for everybody and it will allow people to, you know, take care of themselves and mind themselves better, which is really, really important, particularly after the period of time we've just come through. So in terms of six certs, you don't need to produce a six cert? Well, no, you, you, you only ever, ever have to produce a six cert if you are a, a doctor's note if you're sick if you're sick for three consecutive days. So if you're si just sick, like no one's ever had to produce a, a, a sick note uh, if they're just sick for one day. So... And again, if, if you're sick for three consecutive days, well, then the rules are, are slightly tweaked. And then depending on your PSRI entitlements and depending on the requirements to produce a doctor's note, you will get the government to cover the costs at that point. Are there going to be employers, though, say small businesses who won't welcome this change? Do you know what? It is going to come at a cost. But social solidarity comes at a cost. And while it will impact small businesses much harder than it will impact larger businesses, that's probably the price that businesses are going to have to pay to look after their employees. And we've seen that there's a huge staffing short crisis across huge numbers of different sectors in, in, in the country right now. And one of the reasons for that is perhaps maybe employers weren't looking after their employees to a sufficient degree. So this is just another thing that people will have to do. And it will come at a cost. It's not going to come at a monumental cost. I mean, having to cover sick, sick pay or 70% of sick pay up to a maximum of 110 euros per day uh, for three days a year, it's not going to break any business. But what it does do is it enshrines rights for mostly lower paid workers to be looked after. And I think that's really important.